Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, we're going to start slowly the series with all sorts of questions. I got quite a lot of questions, and we're going to go through them as um, as I'm uh, having some time to devote to the videos. And but we're going to try to go through as many as possible. One that um, was asked, it was asked in a live show, and it was repeated in a question. And of course, uh, it's something that a lot of people are wondering. So we got upper, lower, sideband in, in our radios, and a lot of people are just wondering, I don't know when to use upper or lower sideband. So first of all, okay, in the international broadcast bands, when you're listening to a station, so for example, here we have Radio Romania, 7375 at this time. These are all in AM mode. So you don't use sideband in general in the international broadcast bands listening to broadcast they're all in am mode but once you get out of the international broadcast bands so that's where it's important to know and we'll have a video on it where are the broadcast bands where are the amateur bands and so on 95 97 percent of every single signal that you'll encounter outside of broadcasts is upper sideband so there's really no question to be asked most of the time. Most of everything you'll encounter outside of the broadcast band is upper sideband. The only exception to that rule is that there's part of the amateur bands that's lower sideband. So for example, on the 20 meter amateur band, 14 megahertz, you'll be an upper sideband because that's a upper sideband band and everything above up to 10 meters of the amateur bands will be simply upper side band now the bands that are below 10 megahertz for amateur radio say for example uh, 40 meter band 7200 kilohertz that is lower side band these are the the lower side band is mostly in the amateur bands and it's below 10 megahertz and here, here you'll want to be in lower sideband. But for the rest, almost everything you'll encounter, for example, if I hear some broadcast, some utility signal, it's an upper sideband. Almost everything is upper sideband starting from everything else. So think of upper sideband being pretty much all the time what you're going to use to get these signals, including Morse code, including decoding digital modes. You always use upper sideband for that. Um, and that there's the lower parts of the amateur bands, 7 megahertz, 3.5 megahertz, uh, 160 meters, 1.6, megahertz, sorry. These are lower sideband. There are the exceptions. Everything else is an upper side band. Uh, in fact, if you remove the amateur bands, 99.9% .9 of everything you'll encounter is upper side band. But you notice I said 99.9 .9 because there are little exceptions here and there. You might encounter, especially with uh, fishermen, we call them piskies. You'll hear, you know, uncharted communications in languages somewhere where you know it's not there's nothing really that is registered in any frequency list and so on uh, a lot of them in, are in lower sideband for some reason so you know especially in the pirate band when we go to the pirate bands like uh, you'll try to find pirate stations and you'll notice that maybe there's some conversation going on now i don't hear anything there but you might encounter something. If you hear something that sounds like a voice, you are in upper sideband and you just can't decipher it, then try it in the lower. Uh, it's, 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 it's as simple as that. There's no rule of, you know, uh, uh, getting to a signal and saying, well, you know, this is upper, upper sideband or lower sideband, I can feel it. There's, you, you don't. You, like I said, you got to follow the rule that 99% of everything is upper sideband, uh, except that the parts of the amateur band that are lower sideband. But sometimes, if you just can't get the voice right, then 
it's possible that it's lower sideband. Now, not every radio has upper, lower sidebands separate. And that doesn't mean, because it's part of a question also, is I don't have upper, lower sideband, so when I'm in SSB, what do I tune? You tune upper or lower sideband. It's just that in a receiver that doesn't have the separate upper, lower sideband, you have a BFO or a knob that actually changes the tone. So you gotta match it so the voice sounds natural. Well, that knob actually gives you the possibility to tune either an upper or a lower sideband signal. And actually, you'll notice because by the direction of the knob, as you tune more and more signals, you'll notice that upper sideband always is tuned when the knob goes in one direction or lower sideband in the other direction. So uh, you have upper lower sideband. Any receiver that has SSB, even if it doesn't have separate upper and lower sideband, still does upper and lower sideband. It's just that it's a little trickier because now you're playing with the tone. And it also is trickier because it also means it's a little more difficult to actually get the proper tone for upper lower sideband than having a radio that has separate upper and lower sideband modes. So general rule, amateur bands above 10 megahertz upper sideband, below 10 megahertz lower sideband. But for the rest, and I'm talking here amateur radio bands only, for the rest, every single thing you'll encounter, 99.9% .9 of it is in upper sideband. And that's it. So, uh, like I said, the, there is the exception to the rule that sometimes you'll find something that you just can't tune. Oh, lower sideband, look at that. But for the most part, it's upper sideband. There's a little, because the, uh, the purists out there that are listening to the video are like, you're wrong, there's the five megahertz. Yes, of course, there's five channels of amateur radio and five megahertz. Uh, that are upper sideband, but you know what? Um, it, let's let's just it doesn't matter because it's already complex enough for a newbie to understand when to tune up or lower. Let's just put the general rule like it is, and that's going to be uh, the case of upper and lower sideband. If you have questions concerning upper lower sideband, uh, let me know, and maybe we'll spark other videos in. Uh, sideband and tuning sideband signals. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.